guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new to my channel my name is Dale Abella I'm a local realtor here in Las Vegas I work for eXp Realty and uh, it, on this channel what we do is we go over all the new build communities here in Las Vegas so if this is something you're interested in please do me a favor hit the subscribe button hit the like button hit the notification button and I'm gonna keep producing content for you guys so let's get started with this tour today we are on the southwest side of Las Vegas you guys um, if you look straight, the 15 freeway is going to be right there. And uh, we're really close to South Point Hotel Casino. Now we're going to be touring this Edgebrook community. This The builder is KB Homes. Okay, so this is part of like their landing collection. They offer five different floor plans. They're all going to range from about 1,200 square feet to about close to 2,500 square feet, you guys. Um, we're going to be touring those two model homes right over there. Now, that one's gonna be the model uh, 1768 square feet, and then the other one's gonna be 2124 square feet. A couple things about this community, you guys. The HOA is $51 a month. The average lot premium is $9,000 here. And uh, this community has been up for a while. I believe they have less than 40 lots available, but they're also building more KB communities close by, and I'm sure they're going to have similar models. So if you're interested in that, just let me know, you guys. All right. So as you can see, it's gated. It's nice. It's always nice being in a gated community. Take a quick look at the neighborhood. Okay, so another thing, you guys, whenever you see the base price of a house, just know the only thing you would have to add on there is the lot premium and upgrades okay so like i said uh the lot premium being nine average is nine thousand and then with upgrades it's really up depending on how much you want to put in there i've seen people put all the way between fifteen thousand to about fifty thousand so so we're going to be touring this plan 1768 now couple things about this plan you guys as of today the base price is four hundred and thirty four thousand nine hundred and ninety um so you know if this is if this is the plan you're into what's going to happen is you know you'll get your lot and then you could choose this plan you'll also be able to choose between three elevations you guys so the elevation is just how the outside looks so there's going to be three different options here okay um so this model is going to be a, it's two story three bedrooms two and a half bath and two car garage so let's take a look Front door. all right okay so i've already been in this model you guys um this is actually a really good model for you guys to see just because every a lot of things in this model house is what comes standard in a KB home. So just in case you're curious about, you know, what standard looks like, I'll go ahead and show you guys. So first off, the ceiling here is a eight foot ceiling. Now you can upgrade it to the nine foot ceiling, which a lot of people do. A lot of people like having higher ceilings. Um, so right here, we got the door to the garage, stairs to the second floor, and then you have the open layout here, okay? So, here I'll show you it at a different angle. There's that, so, has a good flow to it. Okay, so, I'll go ahead and point out what's standard, you guys, um, as you see the flooring. Now this 17 by 17 ceramic tile, that's what comes standard in all KB homes. Uh, I believe you have a couple of different options to choose from as far as the 17 by 17 ceramic tile. Now you'll only be getting this in the wet areas, you guys. So that's what's standard. So you're gonna get it in the entryway, you're gonna get it in the kitchen, the bathroom, and the laundry room. Everything else is gonna be carpet, okay? A pretty common upgrade is at least just keeping the standard flooring, the standard tile, which is this, and then just, putting it everywhere on the first floor. That's a very common upgrade there. So these cabinets are standard as far as, uh, you know, what KB offers. Also the height of the cabinet, I believe this is 36 inch cabinets. You can upgrade it to the 42 inch, which a lot of people do. 
this oven right here that comes standard as well. Now all KB homes will not come in included with the uh, washer and dryer refrigerator. So you could either buy that with the builder or you could buy it at Best Buy or another retail store. So we'll check out this. This is the pantry. So decent sized pantry. Okay. All right. And as far as this countertop, you guys, I believe this is standard, standard countertop as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the backyard. Now, KB Home is not known is not known for having that big backyard. So I think in this community, the average lot square foot is 3,500. So you'll get a, it'll be about 21 to 27 feet deep backyard in this community. So as you can see the slider there, that's that comes standard. When we look at the other model house next door, you'll notice it'll be a lot bigger. Pretty much everything in the other model house is completely upgraded, so. Okay, so we got the powder room over here, which is nice. It's like isolated in case you need to do the business. So you got the pedestal sink, the toilet. Right over here, we have some storage space. And then you got your coat closet. All right. Cool. And then you have the three and a half inch baseboard there, which is standard. All right, let's take a look upstairs. Oh, and another thing, you guys. So this is KB's energy saving comparison. So KB is actually known for being very energy efficient. As you can see right there, they do a pretty good job. I think I already said that's the door to the garage. So we'll go upstairs. Important thing to note, you guys, if you guys go to a new build community for the very first time, please bring your realtor with you. Otherwise, they won't let you be represented. And you want representation because you want somebody to hold the builder accountable and you know someone who will put your best interests at mind. Now as far as like as far as the agent fees the builder typically pays the agent fees so you know not, no cost to you there okay so we got a loft right here so we got the transfer grill here we'll go ahead and view these two bedrooms right here actually we'll go to this bath first so you got the single sink here. You could definitely upgrade that to a dual sink, which a lot of people do. Okay, so we got your shower. It's pretty standard here, you guys, standard material. All right, so we got this bedroom. So this bedroom is actually gonna be a little bit bigger than the one next door. It goes out further. So it's gonna be about 14 feet that way and then it's about 10 feet here so 14 by 10. so take a look at the neighborhood oh see there you go you can see south point okay all right so this one, you guys, is about a 10 by 11 here. So make sure you guys get a better look right here. So it's a pretty, you know, standard size room. Okay, also upstairs, we got the eight foot ceilings. Okay. So you have your linen closet. Right, then we got your washer and dryer over there. So you got the laundry room. Now remember you guys, you would have to buy your washer and dryer here, uh, but this comes standard. Okay. 
And then you have your smart panel box right here where you hook up the internet and everything. All right, let's take a look at the primary bedroom. All right, so this one is about, I wanna say 15 by 12. There you go. And we have the master, master bath right here. Okay, so we got the standard shower tub combo. We have your linen closet here. Dual sinks, standard cabinets. Okay, and then your walk-in closet. All right. So that's pretty much it. I think we've seen the house, you guys. So again, this one is, uh, the base price is 434,000. Um, you know, you add average lot premium, so it'd be about 442. So yeah, you could definitely, I wanna say if you keep upgrades to minimal, I mean, you could probably be in at that 470, 475, 480 mark there. Cool, so yeah, let's go ahead and tour the next one. We will be touring this model here, this 21, 24 square feet model. Now the base price here is $454,290, okay? Now, if you get this plan, you also have, well, with every, mo with every uh, model, you'll have three different elevations to choose from, which is like the outside look of the house. So a couple things about this house, you guys. It's two story, it could be three to five bedrooms, two and a half to three baths and a two car garage. Now compared to this model right here, so this model had a lot of the standard, the standard material. This one's gonna be completely upgraded. So let's take a look. Okay. So, so far, if you guys notice the difference, it's really upgraded here. Um, we got the nine foot ceilings, which is an upgrade. What's standard is the eight foot ceiling. Now here, you guys, standard would be a den. You'd have a den right here, but you have the option to uh, upgrade this into a, another bedroom. So this could be your uh, fourth or your fifth bedroom. So let's take a look. And if you ask me, you guys, about this upgrade, should you upgrade this to another bedroom? I'd recommend it because, you know, when it comes time to sell this house, it'll always look better if you have a bedroom downstairs. A lot of people nowadays want to have a bedroom downstairs. All right, so we got the full bath here. Now, remember, if this was a den, you'd only have the, uh, the half bath right here powder room cool so all the black hardware here that is an upgrade okay so you see this sink right here as far as the countertop that's come standard with the house but these cabinets are upgraded along with the handles all right so again, you guys, if you guys, just in case you guys haven't watched the other video, um, the flooring here, the vinyl plank, this is upgraded. What comes standard is a 17 by 17 ceramic tile, which will only be in the wet area. So the entryway, the bathroom, laundry room, the kitchen. And then if you want to have tile everywhere else, like let's say in this floor plan, that would be an upgrade as well. So cool, we got the loft. I meant the living room, <laughs> that's what I meant to say. All right. Let me know you guys, are you guys feeling this floor plan or what? It's very open. All right, let's take a look at the backyard. Now, as you can see here, they have the upgraded slider, so it's pretty high. 
Now you could, I think it's the eight foot sliders, but now you can only do that upgrade is of course you'd have to upgrade to the nine foot ceiling, which I highly recommend because everyone loves high ceilings. So the back backyard here is about 20, like 21 feet deep, about, or 25 feet deep. Okay. All right, so look at this beautiful kitchen. So this is a pretty common kitchen nowadays. A lot of people like the white theme, you know, just cause it makes the kitchen look bigger. So we got these cabinets, this is the 42 inch cabinets. That's an upgrade as well as this, uh, the black handles. Also, we got the built-in grill right here, built-in stovetop. That's an upgrade option right there. And then you'll get a dishwasher, which comes standard, but this one, this model is an upgrade, as well as the refrigerator. Well, you'd have to buy your own refrigerator. Does not come included. You can buy it with the builder, though. Okay, so right here, you have your pantry, which is a pretty small pantry. Okay, and then you have your coat closet, also your storage space, so you'd be able to stuff like a Christmas tree over there if you needed to, if you didn't wanna put it in your garage or anything. Cool, so um, you see here, the stay rail right here. So uh, this is an upgrade. Typically what the standard is, is a pony wall. So we'll check out upstairs. If you guys haven't done so already, uh, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, the notification button, and definitely helps me out. And if you're going to be going to a new build community, please take your realtor with you. Otherwise, that, otherwise they won't let you be represented and you want representation. And plus the builders pay the agent fees, so. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check this out. So this is a loft. Now, this could be turned into another bedroom if you guys want, and then that would be a closet. So here, we'll just shake it out right now. So right now it's just empty room, which is kind of weird, if you ask me. <laughs> Okay, so so we got the uh, laundry room, we got the two guest rooms, and then we have your full bath right here. So we'll take a look. We got the dual sinks. We got the undermounted sinks, black black hardware there, and then you have the tub here. Okay. All right, so let's check out bedroom one. As you can see, they got the transfer grill up there, help regulate airflow. Okay, so this room is about 10 by 11 here. So this is a uh, twin size bed. Okay. All right, and then we'll check out this other one. I believe this other one is a, just a tad bit bigger. Yeah, so this is about like 10 by 12, 10 by 13. And then we have your walk-in closet. Cool. All right. So let's take, a, let's take a look at the primary bedroom. Right here, so we have the linen closet. Nothing too special about that. Okay, so here's the uh, primary bedroom. Now this is a king size bed, just so you have a better idea. So, you know, you definitely have room here. Take a look at it, this angle. Have your walk-in closet right here. And then we have your primary bath. 
So you guys, this is definitely an upgrade. Now, the standard is the, the shower tub combo. If you wanna do something like this, this upgrade is gonna cost you about $5,000 to do. Okay. So again, we have the upgraded cabinets, the three and a half inch baseboards, which is standard. We have the toilet room or the meditation room. And then we have the uh, another linen closet here, so. And that's that, you guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Is this a house that you could see yourself in? Is there something about this house that you guys don't like? Please let me know. Thank you so much for watching that entire video. If you guys have any questions at all about new builds, about resale homes, looking to sell, uh, give me a call, shoot me a text. My info is gonna be in the description below. I'm very responsive, you guys. I work very, very hard for my clients, as well as um, I got two links in there, um, description below. So one link will help you look at all the resale homes in the area, as well as another one that will help you look at all the new builds in the Las Vegas area, okay? Thank you guys so much, and uh, I'll see you guys next video.